good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Atlanta Falcons. Fairly short kick, taken into 14 here. And they'll have good starting. A first carry for the tailback, Devontae Freeman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now Ryan on first down. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. You got nothing. They run. Devontae Freeman. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally, rest. Making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. Here's Ryan. And that will be taken in by Ridley for a Falcon touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Two able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Five plays there on that drive, and the Falcons score to cap it off. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end. Foul, and that's Russell Wilson. And when I think of Russell Wilson, I think not just of the big plays that he's made, and those are considerable, but when they were made. Fourth and 26 in a Big Ten championship game against Michigan's level. On second down now. It's Carson. A tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Third and long, it's Wilson. He's got his man. That's Josh Gordon. Guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. I mean, what's going on here? You owe some explanations. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 12. 22! Hey, Zoom! On second and seven, Ryan. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Ryan going to give to Freeman on the draw. Go, 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 go. And boy, he is very close to from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes now. Come back to haunt them later on. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. They... On second down, it's Carson. And, he... In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. Here's Carson. And the running line. Now this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. They run it with Carson. On third down, Wilson escaping the pressure right. And a throw there going to be into play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Here we go on fourth with Wilson, eluding the pressure right. And a loose football, and the Falcons grab it. Impressive, but not with this field position. There's also a time for good old football 101 sets. <laughs> yeah. Punt it away, let your defense take over with better field position. 
Ryan leads with Freeman on the draw. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons push further out in front. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run. You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering how are we... And 11. To throw is Wilson. Flush to his right. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And they've got it well across. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. They do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gauden. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Alert, 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 alert. Go, go. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Flushed out right. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. There he goes, right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Two able to get 